I often get requests for uh, variety items. People wonder what other kinds of things they can feed their, their dogs. And I just recently came across this one. Uh, this one is Wild Thing Beef Oxtail. Uh, these are raised in the United States, antibiotic and hormone free. Oxtail is a pretty common item actually. I've seen it packaged numerous ways. You have sometimes you'll get nice slices, they're about so thick and about that big around. And those are obviously the most convenient. But these I didn't think were too bad uh, either. They're going to be about the right size for a meal, I believe. But um, they'll be a little bit more messy, of course. You want to watch where, they're, where your dog eats them. Um, okay, let's get this opened up and we'll weigh them out and kind of see what they look like. Okay, we've got the package open. Um, I personally still weigh out each meal. I want to know what I'm feeding, but I know a lot of people don't do that, and whichever way you choose is fine. Um, oh my, this particular one is 1.7 pounds. And this one is just under a pound. Um, that happens to work well for my pets, but obviously if it doesn't for yours, if that's too much, you'd need to cut these appropriately to make sure you have the right size meal. So there you have it. This particular one, wild thing, beef oxtail, but you can get oxtail in various forms. Um, I've seen them in 15 pound packaging and a lot bigger that you'd have to cut down. So that's why I thought this size was kind of convenient. Okay, in our last video we showed uh, the oxtail and we weighed these out, but I wanted to also show you, uh, let's just say that these were too big for your animal and you needed to cut this down. Um, show you how we would do it. Uh, have your good cleaver here. Uh, I, frankly, I've had one that's not such a good cleaver and it just doesn't work as well. So be sure you get yourself a good one. Um, Sometimes it takes a few hits to get in the right place. Now I've got a smaller chunk. So this would be for your smaller dog or maybe even your cat. Our cat loves uh, her raw diet things as well. So we'll probably give her this little piece. But you can, you can cut that down. Now I have known people to use a bandsaw. Um, I don't have a bandsaw and to me that really seems like it'd be messy and, and something I wouldn't want to deal with. But you could sure do it if it works for you. Get the right size you need for your pet.